so students today what are we going to learn basically we are going to learn something about the life processes the detailed study of which we will be doing in the subsequent videos now if you remember in class 6 we had studied that there are certain things which make us different from the non living things and they are basically the nutrition that is taking in of the food the utilization of the food and if you take in food what will happen you will be active you will get the energy and you will move around so the next thing is the movement you are eating the food you start growing so next point is the growth now what we also remember is that the food is not completely digested some of the food remains undigested and has to be thrown out with the body as waste material and the process is known as excretion followed by the three r's that is the respiration the reproduction and the response to stimulus so these are the seven things which we studied about in class 6th so now what we are going to study is the life processes that are going to make us very different from the non living things so like we studied in the 6th class the first and foremost is the nutrition now on the basis of this nutrition we divide all the things all the organisms into two types the first is the autotrophs which are making their own food auto means self that is automatic so they are making their own food with the help of chlorophyll which is present in the leaves and how are they making it they are trapping the sunlight or we can say that they are converting the light energy into the chemical energy they are making certain organic compounds now the organic compounds like the carbohydrates that are being made the simplest form is the glucose but this glucose is not stored as such in the leaves it is converted into starch for which we have conducted the iodine test and it is only the green plants which are making the own food because they have the chlorophyll in them so they are known as the autotrophs and the nutrition is known as autotrophic nutrition while the other organisms they are all depending upon these green plants directly or indirectly and they are known as the heterotrophs and the nutrition is known as heterotrophic nutrition now this includes the primary consumers like the herbivores which are directly depending upon these autotrophs or the secondary consumers which are the carnivores and they are depending upon the herbivores or we can say that they indirectly depend upon the green plants for their food then we have the decomposers they will depend upon or they will derive their nourishment from the remains of the dead plants and animals by decaying them as the name indicates decomposers so now we know what kind of organisms are there we have grouped them into autotrophs and heterotrophs now another life process which is very important for survival is the respiration now just remember children that there are two types of respiration one is aerobic respiration another is anaerobic respiration so aerobic air to air ki kaun si aisi cheez hai jo hamare liye useful hai we all need oxygen to survive to breathe so in the aerobic respiration what is happening is that we are taking in the oxygen and we are giving out the carbon dioxide but in case of certain bacteria during the anaerobic respiration what is happening that they are surviving without the oxygen so they are staying in the decaying or the decomposing matter and they do not need much oxygen for their survival so they are the anaerobes and they are resorting to the anaerobic kind of respiration now what is happening is basically we come to how the digested food or the absorbed food goes to different parts of the body to give energy and this energy is stored in the body in the form of atp the full form is adenosine triphosphate so it is basically the circulatory system which is taking these absorbed food or the oxygen which is very important for all parts of the body and the circulatory system consists of the blood it consists of the heart it consists of the blood vessels so blood is acting like a transport system like a truck driver it is carrying this oxygen it is carrying the food which is required by all parts of the bodies and it is giving it to them so that they can derive the energy by the breakdown of the glucose and this glucose which is broken down will give this energy in the form of the atp which will be stored in the body and consumed 
Now what is basically happening is that the undigested matter has to be thrown from the body and it is thrown from the body in the form of we can say the excretory products through the kidneys in the form of the soluble nitrogen wastes and the unit which is the most important unit in case of the kidneys which is doing this excretion is the nephron. Now coming to the plants. The plants are also performing certain life processes like they are making food we have already studied about this. Now there is very important aspect of transportation which is taking place in case of the plants. We know that they need water and minerals which are traveling from the roots to the leaves because leaves are making food they need this water and minerals. So how does it travel? Now there are very tall trees also so the roots have to send the water and minerals to the tallest of the parts of the plant where the leaves are there and the photosynthesis has to take place. So this takes with the help of certain pipes or we can say certain vessels or certain conducting tissues and these conducting tissues are known as the xylem. While on the other hand the food which is made also has to be transported to the different parts of the plant. Just remember fur for food, fur for photosynthesis and fur for phloem. So this phloem is conducting or helping in the transportation of the food to different parts of the plant. Now like in all other living organisms, in plants also certain waste products are produced and they need to be excreted. So just remember that in case of the plants, excretion is generally by removing of the substances in the form of the gums or the raisins which are just thrown out of the body or in the form of the leaves that are falling, certain waste products are removed like that also, while some of them are just released into the soil. So this is about the excretion in case of the plants. So now we have some idea about the different life processes which are making the living things very much different from the non-living things. So we will be studying about these life processes, the organs involved, the systems involved in detail in the subsequent videos. So students, if you have liked the video, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.